Okay, so overall, what this is saying, so uh, overall, what the blog here for YouTube is saying, is that they know that YouTube believes, and I agree with this, they are, they are in the right. They are in the right in what's going on. They have nothing to do with, with Viacom trying to sue, trying to, with this lawsuit. They feel as though this lawsuit is not necessary. Basically, what they're saying is, basically, the few things they have pointed out is this. Viacom, that they feel is really going to help them win the case, is that Viacom has gone, is sent employees to places like Kinko's, Kinko's to upload cont their content onto YouTube so, it, so the computer won't be traced, so the, you know, like the, the videos won't be traced back to the, to Viacom itself. The same, another thing they hope will help them win is the fact that Viacom um, has demanded the removal of these very clips, but have also sheepishly asked for reinstatement. So basically, Viacom is suing YouTube over stuff that Viacom did itself. That's another thing they're hoping. Another thing they hope will help them win the case is the fact that Viacom has hired no fewer than, I, I'm, I'm not going to say the number, but they've hired no few, fewer than so many different marketing agencies to upload its content to the site, as well as, number four, they hope that, letting, they're hoping that, you know, it be known, they're hoping that, you know, Viacom roughing, deliberately roughing up its own videos to make it look like they were still in a leak, is going to help them as well. So all what I'm pointing out right there is basically what YouTube is hope you people at YouTube and Google Google are hoping and praying hey, are hoping and praying that it helps them win this case because, you know, they, they're not at fault. you got to look at that. They're not at fault here. Basically, what, I mean, what's going on here is Viacom, I believe, is just trying everything in the book, every trick they can think of in the book, as I mentioned in the previous parts, to not only win this case, to not only get every content, even if it's Viacom or not. I mean, it could be videos just like what I'm doing right now. Have every content uploaded by people like myself and yourself, investigated and policed by, and policed. Basically, they, they want to make, sh they want to have control. In other words, Viacom, they own all these uh, different networks and all that, like CBS, Paramount, DreamWorks and all that, Nickelodeon, MTV, whatever. And they are hoping that with all that, with all that, they, they, well, basically, Viacom is hoping that they win this so that they can add YouTube overall. They, overall, all Viacom wants to do is add YouTube to its collection. That's what it wants to do. So Viacom can probably turn it into a Viacom-related site. That's what I think they're trying to do. Just my opinion on it, but that's what I believe they're trying to do. They're trying to basically... Win a case that really doesn't necessarily need to be put in court, doesn't necessarily need to exist. So also they can gain control of another site and make it part of the corporation. That's what they're trying to do. And that's just my opinion on it. But I just read to you most of what I read in the pre first two parts. I'm going to put the link up here for you to see it yourselves. Let me know what you think. But again, I know I'm not the only one on YouTube right now talking about this. Because you can find this posted on Facebook. YouTube has Facebook, remember? They put the link from which I'm reading it from. But basically, that's what's going on up to date. So, again, let me know what you guys think about this. Because I feel as though this whole thing with Viacom is, and you suing YouTube and trying to win a lawsuit against YouTube is nothing but a complete waste of time. Viacom is just doing... Viacom, to me, is... Basically trying to add another site, another company to its collection. 
That's all it's doing. Viacom basically wants to be known as the one company that owns network owns C, the, net, the CBS network, MTV, Nickelodeon, Paramount, DreamWorks, and now they want to be known as the company that owns YouTube. That is not going to happen because this lawsuit is probably going to fall through and it's going to probably be put to rest because everything that you will read on this thing when you click on this link will definitely tell you would you definitely you will definitely agree with what I'm saying here. YouTube has the right. I mean everything that's going on here, basically Viacom is pitting themselves in the corner and I think Viacom knows eventually they're gonna lose this uh they're gonna lose this case. They know it. So that's all I have to say about it. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you all later. God bless. Take care.